Hello and welcome back. There are different ways to filter prefixes in BGP. One of them is using prefix list. Using prefix list, you can group the IP addresses together and then you can apply policies to their prefix list. You can define a prefix list once and then you can reuse this prefix list at many different places in the configuration. You can use it to filter inbound prefixes. You can use it to filter outbound prefixes to appear or you can even use it with other routing protocols. So the prefix lists are very useful. You can define group of addresses using a prefix list and then you can apply it to different configuration options. The downside of prefix lists in Junos is you cannot specify a range of addresses. You have to have exact address matches in a prefix list. Unlike in Cisco's implementation, where the prefix lists are very flexible, you can match based on the subnet masks and stuff like that. But in Junos, you cannot do that. You have to specify the exact subnets or exact routes. It will be a little more clear when I do it on the CLI. So what I have done for this lab is, I have created these three new prefixes on J13. 192.168.200.13 slash 29 and uh, because it's a slash 29 so the subnet will start from 192.168.200.8 and next one is a host route that is 192.168.201.1 and obviously it will be a slash 32 because it's a host route and the third one is 172.168.201.17 so actually the root itself will be 192.168.201.16. I will go to the J13's CLI and show you the exact root before we go ahead and start building the prefix list on J1. So the idea is I will have a prefix list created on J1 that will describe all these three prefixes and I will call this prefix list in a policy statement and I will filter these prefixes on J1 but I will not do anything about it on J2. So what effectively will happen is the traffic when going out from AS100 to reach these routes will have to go through the link between J2 and J8. So it might be in real life it might be those prefixes that I do not really care about. So all I want to do is I want to reach them through a backup link between J2 and J8. And once that goes down, these prefixes will not be reachable because they are not advertised through the peering between J1 and J7. Our objective is to, to filter them between J1 and J7 and let them come through between J2 and J8. So we can force the traffic to go via the backup link between J2 and J8. So let's go ahead to J13 and first of all check the exact routes that we have to match. I'm going to J13. Show route protocol be protocol actually direct because these are direct routes, not BGP routes. So if I compare them with the routes that I have in here, I hope you can still see them. So 192.168.200.13 is actually part of this subnet. 192.168.200.8 slash 29. 192.168.201.1 is a host route with a slash 32 mask. 192.168.201.17 has got a network address of 192.168.201.16 slash 29. So we have to filter these three routes exactly like this on J1 for the prefix list to work. So I'll copy these into notepad. So let's go to J1 and create a prefix list. Prefix lists are defined under the policy options. So it's going to be set policy options, prefix list, and then the prefix list name. I'm just going to say AS200 underscore filter, and then I can specify the prefixes. So I can create multiple statements like this, or what I can do is, which is a little easier, if I go to the edit mode for this prefix list, I do edit policy options prefix list and the prefix list name, then I can add multiple statements inside it. So if I do a question mark, 
I got all these standard options. What I need to do is set and then just tell the prefix. So just do a copy paste from here. That's my first prefix. That's my second prefix. That's my third prefix. And if I come out and do a show compare. So what I have done is I have created this prefix list under policy options with these three prefixes. I'll do a commit. Next step is to call it in a policy statement and then attach that policy statement to the BGP parents. So set policy options policy statement and I'm just going to call it AS200 filter as well. And term 10 and from option would be prefix list and I will just tell the name of this prefix list. After matching it, I have to say I want to reject the roots, then reject. So we are matching the prefix list AS200 filter and any roots that match this prefix list will get rejected. And the next step is to attach it to the BGP pairings. What we have is BGP. For external pairings, we have an export policy, but we don't have an import policy. I'll just attach an import policy to the whole group because I do not want to receive it on any peers between J1 and J7. So I'll just attach a policy to the whole group defining as external peers of J1. So that's going to be set protocols BGP, group external peers and import in the policy statement. My policy statement is this AS200 filter. Show compare again. And looks good to me. I have a policy statement defined and I am attaching it to the BGPPS group. So after the definition of this policy, I should have filtered those roads. If we want to do the show route now. For that one, I still have a root, but notice the next hop that is 10.10.14.4, that is via J4, then J2, and that way. And if I do it for the second prefix that we filtered, we should see the similar root again. As you can see, I am not receiving the second root again for from J7. Instead, I am receiving the root from J4 and if I do a trace root, I should be going from J4, J2, J8 and onwards to reach their prefix. So let's do a trace root to see if the prefixes are actually reachable. Run trace root 192.168.200.13 was the actual prefix. Source will be 200.001. And as you can see, I need to go to 1010.14.4, that is J4, then 1010.24.2, that is J2, 92112, that is J8, then you go to J10, J9, J11, and then J13, J10, J9, J11, and J13. That's the easy, easiest way of filtering prefixes in BGP. You define a prefix list and within that prefix list, you define all the prefixes that you want to filter. Then you attach that prefix list to the policy statement and attach the policy statement to the BGP pairing. You can attach it to the whole group like we did because we wanted to filter them on both pairings or we could attach it to one neighbor and let the prefixes come through the other neighbor.